Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I will talk about how to embed a Unity WebGL player in Weebly. First, we need a Unity application. I have a sample application here. I go to Build Settings, select WebGL, and build the application. This will give me the following files. An index.html file, a build folder, and a template data folder. Next, we need to upload those files to a web server. We have a number of different options here. First, you can upload it to something like Dropbox. You can also go to Weebly directly and upload the files there. I prefer to have all my files in a central place uh, with a provider where I have a good interface and where I have full control over how I share those files. So for example, if you want to publish your game on a Weebly website, but then also on a Squarespace or a Wix.com website, you can upload them individually on these sites or you can just have one central place and then link your files to all of those websites. And that is what I prefer. I use Amazon AWS S3, and you can simply sign up for a free account. You then have to create a bucket, which is a root folder, and you can select where you want to host this, uh, this folder. And then what we do is we simply upload our files uh, to that folder. So here, the bucket is called webgl123, I created a folder build one. So if you have multiple games, you simply create either multiple buckets or multiple folders. And then we upload the files. Click on upload. Take all the files that were created by Unity. And you simply drag and drop them over here. You can see index, HTML, and the two folders. And you can leave all the settings here as they are. And you can simply click on upload. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to change the permissions of all those different files. Let's start with index.html. We click on the file, on that checkbox here, go down to permissions, and we go to public access, everyone, and we have to make sure that this read object uh, checkmark is set, so that there is public read access to this object. Now I already set all of those permissions, but you have to make sure you go through the, the individual process of setting the index HTML file, all of the files in your build folder. So all of those need to be set to public read access. And then one more file, which is the unityprogress.js in your template data folder. Once the public read access to all of those files is set, you're done in Amazon S3. The only thing you need is the link to your index HTML file. Again, click on the file. And over here, you see link and you copy the link address. Next, you go to Weebly, and we now just need to link to our files. And you can do that by just creating a, an empty page wherever you like it on your website, and you drag and drop a embed code element. It will now tell you to click to set custom HTML. Now, I prepared some iframe code here that I will post under this video. The only thing you need to do here is replace the URL with your own URL of your index.html file. And we just copied that over on Amazon. Again, here, copy link address, and you paste it into this iframe code. Now you can change all of those other parameters, what the title is and, and whether full screen is allowed and so on, but I'll leave that to you. Now all you have to do is take this code click on the element here, edit custom HTML, and paste your code. And already the application loads. So as you can see, this is very simple, very straightforward, and you don't have to change any of your files in Unity. So if you were to host this directly on Weebly, you would have to make changes to the file structure in all of those individual files. If you have any questions about this process, please leave a comment below. And I also published some videos about how to do this same process with Squarespace. Thank you very much.